Okay, hi everyone. Um, I decided to make this video today um, because I've uh, been watching a lot of stuff about the flat earth movement lately and lots of videos about people filming ships going over the horizon and people asking about proving the curve and all this stuff about gravity and NASA and all this. And um, I realised that I had an experiment at home that I'd done several years ago which I thought could actually prove that the Earth is a sphere and that it spins and um, some more info about how the light actually hits the Earth. And um, so I thought I'd make this video to show you what I did because it's very simple and anybody can do it and actually I hope people do decide to do it because it would only add further proof. So what I did is I set up um, this disc timber, uh, I set it up nice and flat, I put, put a spirit level on you know, X and Y axes and got it nice and level outside in the sun and on, um, on the equinox on September 22nd, this is quite a few years ago, um, I put the little screw down there and um, what I did is I just left it outside and I put a mark every half an hour, 9 o'clock, 9.30, 10, 10.30, between 9 and 3.30, uh, 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. So that as, as, the, some, as the earth turned and, and the shadow moved, I just marked it every half an hour and as you can see there shadow went across like that and as you can see the, um, the result that I got turned out to be an exact straight line now this was on the equinox when the earth is tilted this way so what I've done here is I thought to myself well can I can I replicate this straight line on firstly on a globe model and then secondly um, on a flat earth model which I've made over there so first what I did is I put a I've got a little pin sticking out of the earth model I've got it set up in the position of the equinox with a light source here and which is in level with the equator. Um, so what happens here is you can see that during the day there's the shadow there and the pin. As During the day as the earth turns the shadow falls exactly on the equator line whole time. Doesn't deviate at all. And say at midday the shadow is directly under the pin. That's just, that's the light source is directly overhead. And as we go around the shadow falls exactly on the equator right on the line all the time right around there still falling exactly on the equator line so that represents an exact straight line and that's exactly what I got here so on a globe model this straight line can be transferred exactly on there nothing else is needed just just a pin the same as what I set up and the spinning globe and there is a replication of what I got now where I am is I am down here in, at the bottom of Australia in Melbourne Australia so I got a straight line going directly across 
which is actually parallel to the equator line. So that shadow that I get from my pin and the shadow positions that I got on my test are actually parallel as a line of latitude on the glow of Earth. So it works perfectly. So now I thought, well, how does it work on a flat Earth model? So what I did then was set up a model, flat Earth model, where I can rotate the light source of the sun moving around flat Earth, and I've set it up so that the sun covers about the same distance as what the flat Earthers show on their models. And all I've done here is I've drawn an equator line and I've put a little screw here, the same as what I've done on the globe Earth. And the problem presents itself straight away because as soon as the light starts to cast, as soon as the shadow starts to cast here, you can see that it's nowhere near the equator line. In fact, it falls quite a way away. And the only time that it actually lands on the equator is when the light source is directly overhead. And as soon as the light source moves away, the shadow moves away from the equator line. In fact, there doesn't seem to be any way on the flat earth model that this experiment can produce a shadow that follows along the equator line like it does on the globe earth. See, this shadow should fall along this line the whole time. And I've heard people talk about refraction from the atmosphere and all stuff like that, but that doesn't mean anything because I can reproduce my experiment. I can reproduce this original line that I got outside on a globe earth just inside my kitchen here as you can see once again that line on a globe earth the shadow falls exactly on the equator as the earth spins now since I got that same line sorry, since I got the same line from where I am in Australia which is parallel parallel to the equator and that shows that all of the all of the sun's rays are hitting the earth parallel all the time so that no matter no matter where you no matter where you put this pin here no matter where you put it on Earth, on this day, you will always get a shadow that falls on one of these great circles in your whatever latitude you're at. You'll always get a line that follows along here. So it proves beyond any doubt that the sun's rays all hit straight on like this because I get it on the equator here and I get it I get the same thing down here in Australia which is on this day it's pretty low so there seems to be no doubt that the earth is a globe and that it spins and that the sun's rays all hit parallel so I just thought I'd make this video get that in the right spot there so yeah see again as the earth turns the shadow falls straight along the equator line without any deviation at all which actually reproduces this straight line here dead straight line which is from here 
down in Australia where I am, it's actually parallel to the equator in that great circle. So I hope that gives the people a bit more of an understanding of how simple it is to prove that the Earth is a globe. All you need is a screw, a little bit of time, spend a day on the equinox, and then I also um, calculated the angle uh, of the sun where I was, and it turned out to be about 51.74 degrees. And then what I did is I did another one on um, on the June the June solstice, and um, I got at 28.38 degrees, or 28.64 degrees. So then what I did is I subtracted the June from the um, September and I got 23.1 something, which is fairly close to the Earth's tilt. So um, anyway, I hope you get something out of that video and I hope that the Flat Earthers have a good look at it and... See if they can replicate it in any way on their flat earth model because I just don't see how it's possible because of the way the sun moves over the flat earth you can never have a shadow cast along the equator line on that day or any day for that matter so it proves that the flat earth model isn't um, a working model it doesn't work in reality but it actually works when you have a globe so hope you enjoyed the video and uh, thanks a lot for watching bye